Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. So we're continuing our journey with the advent calendar. We're gonna do the holly next. I've called it the mistletoe online as well. So what it is, it's two existing leaves that are pushed together. Okay, so we can put those together with um, sewing techniques and then this is just a round circle added to it afterward in order to create it with a little bit of a loop at the top. Very easy concept and we are going to be working with the center chain working our way around and then we'll just follow the instructions slowly as we go. We need to make two leaves. So I'll, I'll do the one on camera with you. I'll leave you to do the other one and then I'll cover the berry for you. So using a five millimeter size H, you're gonna be using your green color right now and we are going to create a slip knot to begin and we're gonna chain a total of eight. So you have to do two leaves. I'll show it to you one time on camera. So you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So what happens on here is that we're gonna work our way across the chain and then down through the other side back up. So it's like a big round circle. So let's begin. We're going to do one single crochet second chain from the hook. So count back. So one and two. Get the back loop only. So single crochet into that one. And it says one half double crochet in the next chain. So wrap the hook and do one half double crochet. Just like you see there. So it says one half double crochet, one double crochet, one half double crochet in the next chain. So let's start off with, we're gonna do one half double crochet into the next chain. We're then going to do a double crochet into the same chain and then one half again into the same one. So it creates kind of like a jetting out look once it's all done. So then we continue back. So one single crochet in the next, just like you see. So one single crochet in the next one here and then we're gonna start doing some repeat, okay? So let's begin. And we're gonna do in the next one, we're gonna do a, a half double crochet. We're going to do a double. And then we're gonna do a half. Just like you see. Now in the remaining chains, what you're going to do is that you're going to put it into um, you're gonna do the, um, sorry, single crochet into the last one. So we're, you're gonna do a total of three single crochets into the final. So one, two, and see how I'm turning it? Two and three. So now you're just gonna repeat exactly what you did on the other side but in the same order. So the first one, what's it gonna be? In the same one where they all are already. So just lay down this um, straggler down on top. So the first one will be a half double crochet and then followed by a double into the same one, followed by a half into the same one. Okay, the next one is gonna be a single crochet. And then the next one is exactly what you already know. So you have to do a half first, a double, and a half, just like that. And then all you just gotta do now as you're working your way back through is that you do, um, you put in a single crochet into the very first one and then you single crochet one more time. Okay, so just two in there and then that's it. So that's what it looks like, see? So it's kind of an abnormal shape and then you're just gonna just trim this off and you're gonna use a darning needle to hide in your loose ends. So you've already covered the first one over when you did it there, but this last one you're gonna need a darning needle just to whip it in. So what I would do is do the second one next. Okay, so you gotta do a total of two ornaments anyway. So I would do all your leaves now 
and then before you go on any further and then we're going to do the berry then next and then I'll show you how to put them together. So you gotta do your berry and sew the berry on first before you put the two leaves together as well. So once you have that all woven in or sorry uh, hidden in you can get rid of that and then we can move on to doing the next leaf. So please do the next leaf now and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I have my two leaves done and you gotta do a total of four of them because you gotta do two different ornaments. So before you do anything I want you to do your berry first. So let's do the berry and we're gonna create a slip knot to begin and we're gonna do a total of chaining of two. So one and two and then all we're just gonna do is six single crochets then into the first one. So one, so second chain from the hook it was the first one. So two and going right up over top of that starting strand for three, four, five and six and then just join it with a slip stitch to the first one. So count it back if you don't see it. So one, two, three, four, five and six. I always do that anyway. It's just I've become habit. It's become a habit to do that. So then you slip stitch it and then that's it. Leave an extra long tail and what I would do is that choose the leaf that you want to be on top of the other one. So if, you, if one looks better than the other then that's the one that you wanna choose. So just looking at it here. So this is the one I want to use. So I'm going to use an extra long strand that I had cut. Feed it onto the darning needle and I'm doing it now because I don't, I, I don't want the berry leaking through the other side. So just kind of position it and go down through the berry through the leaf and then back up and you're just sewing this into position. If the center bothers you, so it's got a little bit of a hole in the center, if that bothers you there's nothing stopping you from just uh, taking this strand. See how you got a little hole? Just go diagonally across and that'll, that'll cover it up for you. It'll kind of pull it in and then just diagonally the other way. You can close that in just like you see. So once you're satisfied and everything is in just take it to the back side and just weave it in and out three times. So one, two and three. So now that's in. So you see the back doesn't look fabulous. So if you look down the original sample that you cannot see online. See there's no there's no indication there's a berry on that. So they've done it on the inside. So now you're gonna take this and the other one and then just put them together. So using the green color create an extra long string. Just create a slip knot leaving a little bit of an extra long tail that you can deal with later. And all you're just doing is that you're using the darning needle to put these together. So the berry is already attached. So just in the green section only. So coming up through the back side. The berries on the front of course. And I'm just gonna go through the slip knot. Just like there. And then that'll lock it into position as I pull it through. There you go. So I'm just gonna go a little bit around this only in the green. Leave that berry alone. So in and out of the green section only just to hold them together. So I'm working my way around the berry instead. And when you think it's enough, which I think is gonna be enough in a second because I'm already way around again. So just coming back through the outside and then in and out of your work three times. So one, two and three. So the starting strand that you did you left it a little bit of extra long one I hope. And it's already kind of locked into position anyway but you just wanna get rid of that last tail so it's not hanging out anywhere. Just drag it through especially if your project's recyclable year after year. You wanna take care of your tail ends now. So just weave it through and then just trim and then any other strands that you kinda of hid along the way. Just get rid of those as well and therefore there is your holly and your mistletoe whatever you wanna call it. So that is your fabulous idea. We still have to create the loop next which is really quite easy. Let's do that next. So let's create the loop. Create an extra long tail just before you do the loop. Uh, okay before you start and then chain nine. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We'll leave an extra long tail and pull that loop through. Yank on it, yank on both sides, fold it in half. So you're just gonna measure them, make sure the strings are almost the same distance. If not, just make them the same distance. And then feed that through a darning needle. So you'll see that the loop is at the top of the mistletoe or the holly. And you're just gonna go through the green section only. And pull through and stop once the loop hits. Come through the interior of the loop and then back through the holly. And I want you to do that total twice. So back through the loop and through the holly. So once you have that done twice, then just turn it over and just hide in this loose end. So just in and out of the work a total of three times. So one, two, and just do it one more time. I just dropped it. Happens to everybody. So the next decoration up as I just do this final one will be the gift and the gift is a three dimensional. You'll need your polyfill once again to do the gift. It's uh, two pieces put together and it has a little bit of puff to it and again that's subjective to your own creativity as well. So there is how you do your holly. So now it's ready for your Christmas tree ornament and you have to do two, two of these for your particular idea. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the uh, Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.